growing up on a farm, I mean, I've been on the farm my whole life, so it's kind of become a lifestyle. And like when in my high school, I was the only farm kid, so it was kind of like the oddball out with that. This is pretty much the process. When they start to curl up like this, that means they're getting ready to send their flower shoot out, which is this. You can kind of see the flowers start there. I know all the new things that are coming, new technology, and it kind of brings you up to date, but the key is you never stop learning. Now till September is pretty much non-stop. Growing in the summer is pretty much, you know, a uh, seven day a week job, but then we get winters off, so. I know it's not often that you come by a eight generation farm. Eight generations of being in the same family. Our location is also very unique and that's what makes us kind of viable. Now this whole eat local thing had to adapt to the times and change the farm and who knows maybe one day we'll have to change the focus again. You uh, wear a lot of hats in one day. You know like this morning you're feeding the calf and we were picking lettuce and then we were out at the farmer's market talking to customers. And you could be a lot of different hats. You could be planting, you could be picking, mowing hay. There's still a lot that you can learn in the real world. Like there's some things only only dad can teach me. They don't teach you in school and they could never they could never teach you. I mean, the big farms, they focus in one thing and that's all they do. They put all their eggs in one basket and like we try to be diversified and sustainable but when you're only doing one crop for one animal, it's not really sustainable, which is a big thing that I'm trying to push here. This is too big. My dad always says that there's no money in it but the, but the eats are good. If you eat, you're involved in agriculture. <laughs>